Good, Good morning. morning. Hello, I'm AJ. That's, That's Mario. Hope you remembered your jackets this morning. Absolutely necessary today. This is Sunco's News. Enjoy. Today we're going above and beyond in expressing ourselves. Reminds me of the Heritage Assembly where our Chargers express their diverse cultures. Let's see Ashley with more on the Heritage Assembly. We've reached January and you know what that means. Time for the annual Heritage Assembly sponsored by Hands Across Campus. Hosted by Michaela Thelius and Kane Balfour, January 19th showed a collection of talented students giving performances representing cultures from around the world. The show opened with a drum performance from J.U. Saramane and his team representing Africa. They were followed by the Latin Dance Club, representing Latin America, who gave a dance performance that left many roaring for more. Next up was Turkey, with Ken Madelung singing a song in Turkish with Rafael Guzman on lead guitar and Brody Galloway on drums. Following that was the Ukraine, being represented by Sofia Mizrahi and Abby Robinson folk dancing. India was performed next through dance by Kashi Patel and her group. Audiences were treated to another singing performance, this time from Austria, sung by Nicholas Kellefer and Rowan DeShiel. Next up was Vietnam, represented by Michelle Nguyen and her group performing a fan dance. Staying in Asia, Bangladesh was next, represented by Samara Tassin, who choreographed and danced all by herself. This was then followed by Sophia once again leading a dance group, this time the Dancers Self Club in a performance representing South Korea. As the show neared its end, the performances got closer to home, with Troy T leading a group through multiple songs from the UK like Don't Stop Me Now and Sunflower. To wrap up the show, Michaela led a group to represent America with the Michael Jackson hit Beat It before one last surprise dance tribute to the King of Pop performed by Raymond Wong, Caden Balfour, and Tom Shields. The show was a raving success with each performance receiving standing ovations. Michaela talks about her experience hosting the show. It was honestly really, really fun. It was so cool getting to see all of the people practicing their different dances and or their different performances and I really enjoyed like the writing process because we got to throw in a lot of funny jokes and I think that really got the crowd involved in everything. Can't wait to see how this is top next year. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Ashley Capon. Thanks Ashley. I feel nice and energized now after seeing our talented chargers. Don't forget but we have a blood drive coming up February 2nd. To register you need to be at least 16 years old, 110 pounds, have a signed one blood and two six a zero form and fill out the form on your blood drive slide. You never know when you can save a life. Speaking of hearts, Valentine's Day is coming up, so get you a crumble cookie for a special someone. Purchases can be made on School Cash Online for seven dollars. You have until Monday, February twelfth. I always look forward to sweet treats, so I'm definitely going to check the slides out for more info on getting them for myself. Make sure to get your yearbooks on Balfour.com by tomorrow before they raise the price. But before we focus on tomorrow, let's talk about last week when our varsity girls basketball had a great win against West Boca. Let's pass it to Gabby for more. At West Boca Raton High School, our girls basketball team played in an aggressive game against the Bulls. As the game kicked off, our team kept control of the game by communicating on the court and working off of each other. On the defensive side, our Lady Chargers played aggressive and were quick to get every ball out of their half, which allowed limited shots. By halftime, our Lady Chargers took the lead of the game and kept the same momentum and energy while entering the second half. Even with no subs, our Lady Chargers were able to push through and play aggressively until the whistle blew at the end of the game. Ending with a score of 37-25, to 25, the coaches and captains were very proud of the team's performance considering the circumstances. So the game went really well, if considering our circumstances, it's only having five girls tonight, but we played really well and we controlled the ball and played really good defense, so it was overall a great win. Be sure to come support our Lady Chargers at their next game on January 31st at Royal Palm Beach High School. Reporting from WRSN, this has been Gabby. Thanks, Gabby. Here are the fun activities going on during lunch. Today is the special day for some of our Chargers. Now let's wish some of them a happy birthday. Happy, 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Chargers. Chargers. That would be all. Goodbye. Goodbye.